Hey, Carrie. Hey, Bob. Welcome back, everyone, to Life Redesigned. How are you enjoying Myrtle Beach? I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's nice, calm, cool January. Yeah. Anything you'd like to uh, just explore uh, over here? I want to decompress. I want to go somewhere that's quiet, that I don't have people running, jumping, jogging, just I just, I don't want to be busy all the time, and I don't want to feel rushed and busy all the time. So what you're saying, Carrie, is you <laughs> like to be in an RV resort that maybe caters more towards an older crowd. Uh, like secluded, but yet you're, you're, you're near stores, and I just don't want to be in the thick of it, as Myrtle Beach, most of it is in the thick of it. Well, as luck would have it, Carrie, today <laughs> is your lucky day because we are at Myrtle Beach Travel Park. It's an oceanfront RV resort that doesn't necessarily cater to children, but does cater to a more mature audience. Join us today as we check out what this RV resort in Myrtle Beach has to offer. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Well, as the science says, Gary, they thank you for 50 great years of family camping. I want to stop back here at the Dolphins. I put my glasses on so I can actually read that sign. This is the downside of being older. Um, I will say that uh, we've had the privilege of staying here for the past few nights. And uh, even in mid to late January, uh, we had some pretty freezing temperatures overnight a couple of nights. Never once saw that freeze. And it's a nice little thing as you come through the guard shack to see that every day. It's always something nice just to brighten your mood as you, as you wander through. Uh, we're just going to take you around a quick tour of what we found here in Myrtle Beach. Um, and, and again, just kind of a, uh, a rough through walking. These here are some of the wooded sites that uh, aren't being occupied at this time as they make a little bit of changes, a little bit of upgrades through here. But these are all the wooded ones again. We have bathhouse up here, but look at this. This is your opener. This is when you come through all those RVs down there, uh, full of family camping. Now, one thing to mention is that this, in my opinion, will be considered a mega resort. This is a yeah. lot of RVs here at full capacity. There's gonna be hundreds of sites. It was, it was actually voted 2020 mega park of the year. So there you have it. <laughs> uh, it, it, it shows because they know, you, they clearly know what they're doing um, and how they have everything sorted out. But look at this, this pond here, we'll take you down in just a few moments. We'll take you down to the other side to show you a little more. But this is a fully stocked pond or lake, whichever you'd like to call it. And they have a very toboggan right down big assortment of camping experiences whether you want something like this which is wooded or if you want one of those lakeside sites over there and it's also oceanfront so and then if you are interested they have uh, you can stay here permanently just live here as if this is your own little world mm -hmm. not a bad deal so join us we'll make a few stops along the way and we'll give you a final review at the end if you've been here before comment below let us know what you thought of this rv resort stick around so one of the things that carrie and i do try to do in every rv resort that we stay at is we try to hit the pole the problem becomes finding enough time and today was no different this pool inside carrie and i did walk in it is absolutely incredible uh, but there is somebody inside it as of right now so we don't want to really film them but you can see this is all a heated pool and enclosed and it, it runs uh, up to about I think about a five foot height distance there for children so not too bad and they do have a rule that says children wearing diapers must wear swimmies which I'm always a little concerned about because I think children with diapers should not be in the pool ever but uh, that being said we're gonna walk over here this here is a basically it's kind of hard to see inside but this is a like a conference room that they have church services stuff like that on the weekends um there's pretty an much arcade. all their activities yeah there's an arcade inside and uh, it's, it's small 
you know, it is what it is. And again, this is a place that's catering more towards adults than to children. So that's a good thing to keep in mind there. So now they do have a playground back here. They have on the other side, so we're going to walk through here, a lazy river. This being late January, uh, we're not going to be able to play in the lazy river, um, but that's okay. It is still something to look at. And it's kind of sad, I'm not going to lie, because I love a good lazy river. <laughs> but uh, you, know, you catch us maybe in Florida in a few months, that might not be a bad thing. Now out here, you get a peek of what you're looking at. This here is the lake. This lake is stocked. Uh, in fact, they're pretty strict about uh, this is catch and release only. We'll go down here. But you get a pretty good idea. This is a pretty good sized lake. And again, for those of you who've been paying attention, they are so wealthy here, they water their water. So, interesting part is they do um, canoe rentals. Mm -hmm. They do, as I turn the camera back to us, they do paddle boat rentals, things like that. Stuff that we hadn't taken ourselves, but something that's rather interesting as well. So, whenever we do these walking tours, if you see us abruptly, change direction it's because we try not to film people families with their children stuff like that people in their pajamas hooking up and leaving um, and we're not the ones that drive through the RV parks just to give you a glimpse and say hey we've been there we're actually staying at these resorts so that's why sometimes it's a little shots are a little bit different but that all being said if you want to take a tour of this place before you commit you can stop at the front desk They'll give you a, what's called just looking pass. Mm -hmm. And you can tour this place, um, you know, do a drive through and uh, no charge. Nope, they typically give you 15, 20 minutes, yep. you know, to kind of wander around and check it out. <laughs> but I'll tell you, when Carrie and I came down here, we were pretty impressed with everything. Um, but for a final review, stick around to the end of the video. We'll give you our final, final thoughts on this place, everything that we took in and seen while we were here. Well, this here, you get an idea. This is the pool area. This is just one of their pools, and the front is a lazy river. And then, as so we come alongside the store, you'll see lurking behind us. And I'll tell you, this is the part where I'm just a little bit... Uh, jealous that we're not here for the summer if you look up way up in the back look at this this is a lot of room this is a lot of space a lot of nice pool nice splash pads for the kids all in all not too shabby and there's a peak of that lazy river you can see it's pretty much drained for the season but uh that's a nice way just to float your day away and not have to worry about anything. <laughs> uh, now again, this is end of January, so as you can see, we're kind of still busy. This place is still, I would say, at about 60 to 70 percent capacity, as we're going to get run over here. I'm but uh, this here is your general store. It has everything you can imagine for parts for your RV, as far as handles go, all your Camco supplies, things like that. In fact, one of the best stocked camp stores that we've seen, hands down, period, in all our travels. Uh, over here is their laundromat. Uh, Carrie will give you her rundown there because I don't do laundry. I've been banned from doing laundry for about 20 years, and I'm okay with that. It's so. old, it's dated, and it's not friendly. Well, and so you don't have to stick around to the end about the laundromat. Mm -mm. No. Uh, that'll be that. No. It's $3 to wash. There's no, they're old, old machines. Nobody cleans them out. Nothing. Yeah, I did notice that. And then if you use the number seven dryer, don't because they haven't changed their rubber in a long time. And when you don't change your rubber, bad things can happen and you can get in trouble. Like we found out because all of our clothes had black stains on them. Not good. I horrible. don't know what she's talking about. And. So but they won't do anything. You don't know there's any stains or streaks on your clothes until you take them out, but they, the, the store won't do anything because you took your items out. So this is the rubber seal on the, yeah. uh, on the washing machine. Yeah. Okay, well, on that note, 
How about this? You can also take a selfie with the dolphin. <laughs> <Isn't> that? <laughs> we'll, we'll do that. So again, we're not going to be doing these full walkthroughs, no. but I do want to show you the bathhouses here because it, one, it's close in proximity, and two, wow, not since Fort Wilderness have I seen a bathhouse that was this clean, and that's saying something. When we stayed at Fort Wilderness last October, I was blown away by their bathhouses. This, I poked my head in thinking, you know, whatever. I'm not Whoa. following you in there. She's not gonna go in, we're gonna go in the men's room. Be very quiet in case there's somebody in here, but we'll figure it out. <clears throat> these all have your shower and then you have your toilets and then you have urinals and stuff like this but wow are they impeccably clean and again I can't stress enough when you walk in you can smell the clean these are smaller units that have like a little seating area and a shower back there but you can smell it's clean it's not <clears throat> like just like an unused clean, this is legitimately cleaned. So we did the shower tour, everything. Again, can't say enough good things about that. So I'm gonna check back with you in a couple of seconds. We are gonna take you down Tennessee Trail and show you that one loop um, and show you where we camped here. And uh, then we'll take you on to some other things. You ready? Right. Let's go again. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So we're gonna jump back in here. So if you don't even have your own RV, this place here has a ton of these Forest River Salems for rent here. And they're all permanently mounted and taken care of. So you can literally come down here with nothing and stay in an RV, get that full experience without having to go through the pleasures of towing backing into a site or anything like that. One of the advantages, and I've seen probably throughout the whole complex, I wanna say I've seen about 20 to 25 of those, that they seem like they are permanent year round fixtures for that. So, and while I'm on that subject, uh, this is all not only a camping RV resort, but there are full-time residences on the other side. Um, those are people that own their places uh, full-time use, or they rent them out through uh, VRBO, Airbnb, stuff of that nature. But since we're already here, one of the things I talked about in one of our last videos, well, we weren't gonna do these full-on walking tours of these uh, complexes anymore because they become very long, very boring, but we're literally right here. So we're gonna take you down Tennessee Trail and uh, Again, uh, we don't believe in invading other people's privacy, mm -hmm. so we're not gonna jump into people's sites. Um, you can kind of look past Carrie and I, and you can see, because we do shoot with a wider angle. Uh, but again, I think it's kind of rude if you're all up in someone's business to be filming. But each one of these sites does have these little shelters, which are incredibly uh, handy cooking the rain, stuff like that. And this is one of the only places that we've seen that has the shelters where if you look across here and across these sites, these people actually decorate them. And we've seen everything from a rustic crab shack uh, to just some tarps thrown up to things like that there that have their own windows and there's a company somewhere around here. There's a gentleman a person who here. makes them. Yeah, and he sells the custom surround. designs yeah so if you want to spend the money i don't know how much it is but i'm quite sure if you jump on their facebook page here you can get the information i think that's where you found yours yep or uh, found your information from <laughs> so it's interesting stuff but when we first came here i said gary what is this because i'm not used to things like that and we were kind of thrown back by it, but... Well, when we came here the first time, we did the 15-minute... The we did the 15-minute tour just yeah, to see if we would like it. Yeah, and it had rained, and it was just like a, just a mud pit. And we're going, oh my gosh, what did we do? Right. But and the day that we actually moved in, we're like, ooh. It was beautiful. Like, this was pretty. <laughs> and I got to say that it's so close to the beach, and 
those, going back to those shacks, those little shed things, we had people in there, they had projector TVs in there. They set up their own couches, you know, like patio furniture. They've just had a, a, a gay old time with it. And, uh, you know. Easy Fred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's just so, to me, it's so weird. But it was actually so cool at the time. And I'm just boring old Bob. <laughs> I just got my little grill under there and I go under there to cook at night. That's pretty much it. But, you know, hey. Um, and then I will point out, since they're riding around, they do have their own trash department here. They come by once a day. And they pick up your garbage. You just put it at the back of your site. It's usually around 1 o'clock. Yeah, and they're fairly consistent, yeah. too. And, yeah, great people. Uh, again, nothing, nothing but good things. So this is site 326. You'll see that our grand design uh, right there in the distance. Uh, if you're interested in what our grand design looks like, you can check out a couple of videos. I'll try to link above so you can see what the 2023-22 MLE <laughs> is all about. There's our truck. And uh, this is what you're dealing with here. So again, this little structure here where our grill is, keep all this. And you can see we are running Starlink. Starlink has been consistently about 80 megs down. T-Mobile has been pulling most of the load for us here for ease of use, and it's been great. All your hookups are here way off the ground like I like them and everything here has been pretty good if you're interested in some of the accessories that Carrie has put on the back of our grand design uh, be sure to check out an upcoming video we'll go over our top five outside accessories but you stick around for about two more seconds we're going to take you to the main attraction we're going to take you right over that wall right there all right well about a quick two and a half minute walk and here you are this is really what you're here for um as you see older folks out there uh, playing bocce ball on the beach this off in the distance some shore fishermen and they've been there consistently every single day <laughs> but this part of myrtle beach is kind of like in between myrtle beach in North Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. It is on the quieter side and we love it. Uh, this park again caters more towards a mature audience. Yes. Uh, which is one of the reasons we like staying here and that kind of really sums that up. But uh, <laughs> how you doing? Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Just hanging out. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> He's just going. Yeah, we're going. And there's a perfect example of the friendliness level here. The gentleman and I, we've been talking back and forth pretty much every day. Um, he brings his dog down to the beach about three, four, five times a day just to get some exercise. The dog runs him ragged, <laughs> uh, which is great. Now, that being said, this is a very pet friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, RV park and that's got its pros and cons we're pet people uh, we currently don't have a dog once we slow down a little bit we may consider that but at this point we're dogless um, but I would say about a good 60% of people here mm -hmm. are not dogless with that ownership comes responsibility some people are responsible some people are not and this here is a beautiful stretch of beach. Goes far down and all the way down. And some people here, unfortunately, like to treat it like a litter box. Mm -hmm. And we've caught a, quite a few people just letting their dog do their business and take it off. Casually just walking away. Yeah, and we've, and we've seen with this influx of people uh, this month here, um, we've seen a lot of it where they're just walking through empty sites mm -hmm. because there is a lot of sand here, which we'll cover in a minute. And they're letting their dogs do whatever. Now, my theory on that is I buy my own business. I don't rat anybody out, but it is annoying and it drives me nuts. That being said, our understanding is if you tell the management here they have zero tolerance for things like that, mm -hmm. um, as well as I mentioned before with the fishing, if you, it's a catch and release uh, pond or lake or whatever you want to call it, but if you take it and put it in the bucket, they'll throw you out. And we know firsthand of a couple of people that have reported that out. Mm -hmm. And, if, and uh, yeah, again, not really our thing to, to wrap people out, but 
you know, when you, it's blatantly obvious that you're letting your dog go to the bathroom where kids could potentially play or adults could play, eh, it gets kind of annoying. Yeah. But that being said, um, the only thing, I, I guess this is really the time of the video where we're going to give our pros and cons here. And I'm just going to rattle off some things and you just tell me where you feel on this. All right. Okay. So the pros. Okay. Yeah. Location. It's beautiful. 100% location. Love it. You're, what did we say? But we're four minutes away from the outlets. Yeah. There's a Walmart about another four minutes away. And it's a super Walmart, like grocery store Walmart. Yeah. And then we have Kroger, which is right down the road. Yeah. There's gas stations. You're, you're quick to, you know, most of your attractions, if you're into the Pirates and, and the Grand Old Opry thing mm -hmm. and everything else, that's, you know, 10 minutes in that direction. And it's great. 100% location. Definitely. A couple of downsides to this place <laughs> is going to be price. So when we first booked here, we're like, hey, price is pretty consistent with everything else. Mm -hmm. But that's where I had the problem. And you and I have differed on this a little bit. I look at the pricing and go, this is the same amount that we would have paid in Ocean Lakes and Lakewood. And while I'll never go back to Ocean Lakes, and maybe I'll cover that in another video uh, because of their, their staffing is just poorly trained. Uh, I will say that Lakewood was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but for the pricing here, there was a lot more at Lakewood than what they offered here. And that was just my take on it. There's no concrete pads here. It is heavily full of sand to the point where we've watched RVs get stuck in and out of their sites. Um, I'm actually nervous about getting out of ours. Before we'll drive, I think we'll be okay. Bye. But when you're paying this kind of money and you, you look at this and you go, okay, um, I could be down on the other end and have a few more amenities and not have to deal with the amount of sand. And when I talk about the sand, we're talking, we're pulling bags of sand out of our rig a day. And uh, mm -hmm. it's just a lot of sand. It's to the and point where they've rebuilt these dunes about daily. three or four times uh, since we've been here. And, you know, all that sand goes somewhere and it fortunately just goes into our rig. Now the, con, uh, the pros of this, okay, because it can't all be cons, right? Uh, besides the location, the staff is amazing. Uh, they don't charge for mail. No. So if you want to get mail and packages here, this is the way to go. Unlike somebody else at Ocean Lakes that charges for the package, they don't do that here. They just bring it down, they put it in a pile, and you go find it. And that's pretty much how I like it. And for like the envelopes and stuff, I mean, they alphabetize it as yeah, much as possible. Yeah, they have cubbies for that stuff. So. But, you know, never a problem getting a package here, no. um, which if you're on the road full time, mail is important. Um, and uh, they've, they've nailed that right down. No problems. There is a guard shack, as we, show, we mentioned before. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're, you're always safe. You feel safe and, and secure here. On, just like any of the RV parks that are on the beach, you do have to have a certain level of precaution because they, every one of them have gone through this where outsiders come right off the beach and they'll look for and target RVs to steal from. Uh, if you want to know a good way to protect your RV, you can check out our video I'll link above uh, to have security cameras and stuff like that, which is always a good safety thing to have anyway. But, you know, it really comes down to when we come back, and I, I think for Myrtle Beach, I think we would, unless you feel differently. I would on off seasons. Yeah, that's oh, that's a good point. I'm. Our not videos a tend crowd. to be in places that are off season. Yeah. One, so we can do videos like this, and two, because we don't like the bigger crowds. No. And this is just perfect. The weather here has been amazing in January. Uh, we love Myrtle Beach in January. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, I would not want to be here June, July, and August. Nothing no. against the place. It's just I'm I don't like crowds. <laughs> right, and, and that's that's the thing. Is like if you like being in all that center of excitement and you know thousands and thousands of people, you probably want to be down the other side of Myrtle Beach anyway. Uh, if you have kids, you might want to check out Apache. From what we hear, Apache is absolutely incredible for children. They have their own pier. And, and it's, it's a public pier. It is a public pier. It is straight down there. But, you know, overall, um, you know, I, I do have torn feelings. This is a, a for a mature audience, as we mentioned. So I do appreciate that. And I'm willing to pay a little extra for that. Mm -hmm. But I would like to see a few more refinements made. I would like to see maybe some concrete pads. The sand is brutal. Um, <laughs> yeah. I haven't mentioned the sand. Um, but at the same oh, time, it is coastal camping, and I get it. 
Uh, but I think a few more refinements. It does look like they're working on some park Wi-Fi. Because from what I hear, that's pretty rough here. I haven't used it because we have Starlink and T-Mobile. But a few more refinements in this place will rival everything else that's around in the area. So that's that. So I'm going to leave it on that for Gary. Hmm. I'm Bob. This has been Life Redesigned. And we'll catch you next week. Anything else you want to say? No. Believe it or not, she's shy. But <laughs> she's beautiful. Catch you next week.